We've officially made it to Palm Springs. Yeah. It was a quick drive or no? Mm -hmm. Quick for, you know, Friday afternoon leaving LA. He almost killed me like four times. <laughs> <laughs> You're staying at the Hilton. I almost called the foster placement to ask how Baby S is doing, but I decided I'm not going to do that. I'm going to accept the situation and not torture myself and others that I'm with and just try and enjoy myself and feel all the feelings that come along with it. And we need to eat. I need to eat. We're hungry. Let's just go. I don't know. We're going to find food. Bye. I tried to reach out to baby S's new foster home, but no reply. Shocker. Isn't it a shocker? I kind of figured this would happen. I sent them a message yesterday and I said, please send me pictures. No reply. I called them just now, it's like 10 o'clock on Saturday. No answer. And then I texted again and I said, how is he doing? No reply. This woman I kind of figured was gonna be, well, I like to call her evil because I think she is evil, but that's just me. Um, I don't know how you can do what you do when you're that person. Um, someone's trying to give me money and I'm not gonna say no to it. <laughs> wait, wait. See? I just need a, I just need a couple more zeros after that one. <laughs> anyway, so we're here. I'm trying to not obsess. I woke up this morning, the first thought was baby S. Felt very down about it, but got over that or got through that, not over it. It's just weird. It's weird not having a baby. Like I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, I don't have a diaper to change. That was one of the first things I thought of. Oh, there's no baby like in a bassinet here in the hotel. All those things I thought about. So anyway, but then I started telling myself, well, it's just like, if you were on a vacation and you didn't bring your child, this is what it would feel like, which I guess is good, but also could probably be bad because are you really feeling the emotions of it all? Who knows? I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna go eat. I'm tired. What a week. What a week. So I might be having a little bit <laughs> of retail therapy at H&M. I am missing him really badly. Um, and I think I just need, it's weird because I was talking to Alex and I was just like, you know, it's odd being at breakfast and not having to like fiddle with baby S and not having to like bring him in my lap while I'm eating and do things. It's all just weird. Even shopping like right now, like usually like he'd be like over here waiting on me. It's just weird. I don't know. Anyway, I like what they've got here. I'm gonna, I'm probably getting these shorts over here, but let me get out of here. Okay, so we are at the pool. We got our own little secluded spot over here because shit is crazy. Um, I'd rather just be over here, away from it all. I spoke with, so there, without giving like too much information, I got water in my glasses. Um, Mr. Baby S has a half brother um, and there's two, there's, there's multiple people that are, you know, unknown to be fathers. And I spoke with one of them and he was very upset about the transfer. And I said, dude, like, this is why you guys have to be like connected and in and you have to be participating in this case like you can't just fall out and think everything's gonna work the way you want like i've said from the beginning if baby s's biological family 
could have him, I'm all for it. And I told him, I didn't want to transfer Baby S because I wanted to eliminate one transfer that of placement that just didn't need to happen. And that's, and he agreed, you know, he had shared with me, like he bounced around in foster placements in the past. And he's like, I don't want that for him. And if you look at photos of this man and look at baby S, you're like, oh, it's obvious it's his father. Um, but basically I told him, you need to reach out to, to DCFS and you need to find out your lawyer's number and talk to them. Um, and you know, I was like, I said, baby S needs to become, he needs to come back to my home, um, and stay with me for that consistency in placement rather than bouncing him around and having to attach and bond and attach and bond until, you know, the real actual biological family is determined. And then we do reunification with them rather than bouncing this boy all around the state of California. It just drives me crazy. And, and, and he was not happy either. And I don't blame him. So I'm trying to detach from it, but also be available um, because I care about baby S and I want him to be in the best home possible, whether that's my home or back with biological family. I want him in the best home possible. And I know that the home he went to is not the best home. It's not a family member. It's, it's just not the best home. And, you know, I reached out, said, can you send me photos? How's he doing? Crickets, crickets. That's how I know she doesn't really care about him. If she did, she would understand that it's important that she fills me in on how his first night was. But again, I'm here, I'm having a good time. We're not, we're not crazy party animals. Like we've been walking around downtown. We got breakfast, brunch or whatever, went shopping and just like enjoying the weather. It's hard. I can't just shut off, you know, the fact that he's not with me right now. I, I look at these kids and I'm in the pool and I'm like, man, it would be so amazing to just be, to have him in the pool with me playing and, but I, what am I gonna do, you know? What am I gonna do? So I can't, I don't wanna like totally forget it. I'll never forget him, but it's hard to like try and be present, but also I see people with strollers and kids and all that stuff. Okay, let's talk about our day. <sighs> well, what are we? Oh, we went to Grand Central for breakfast. Grand Central. We had. I ate. We both ate the same thing. Brad's breakfast. Mm -hmm. Had a biscuit. We had, what was yours? Oh, uh, sourdough. Yeah. Server there was nice, but not very attentive. Mm -hmm. Then we went to. What did we do after that? Did we, <laughs> we, walked did we, the, we walked around a lot. Oh, we went to the pool for a bit. Went to the pool. Um, that was full of, mm, let's just say, tourists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're also tourists. So, what's that? Um, then yeah. we went to, we came back here. Mm -hmm. Slept and napped. And we had like mid Oh, we went to Starbucks. Lunch. Oh, yeah. We had mid afternoon lunch at Lulu's. at Lulu's, which was fantastic. I have not heard from the other foster placement. I texted her two times today. I called her one time today. Zero replies. I think she is a not nice person. Um, I would never do that to someone. 
that had a child for almost five months and I would I would have at least followed up and said he's do he's doing great I would have done everything I could do to make sure that that person felt understood that he was in a good place but some people are jerks anyway Back to being kangaroos. He did it better. Okay, do it. No. Do it! Watch. <laughs> I think it's so funny. <laughs> uh, hello, YouTube. <laughs> okay, good. Bye. All right, so we're leaving Palm Springs. And we're in a mad amount of traffic. Constant. We're gonna stop at Cap Cabazon. What outlets? Is it? Some outlet. Cabazon. Oh, I don't know if it's Cabazon, but it's some outlets. And I um, sent a text message to Baby S's new placement again today, and still no reply. The thing is, we talked on the phone last Wednesday, and it was interesting. She had said, oh yeah, when he comes, you know, I'll send you photos and, you know, you can see how he's doing and yada, yada, yada. We can do video on Duo or something. I have so many words. I'm just gonna let it all sit in that face that I just showed you. So many words. But we're leaving Palm Springs and it was a lot of fun and I'm very tired. And that's about the end of this a little trip. I get to go home, walk in my apartment, see what it's like. Burn down. Alone. He just said burn down. <laughs> <laughs> see what it's like with no baby and that'll be okay. Life will go on, a new baby will come. So I'm just getting home from Palm Springs and this is the first time I'm walking into my house without a baby since February 4th, 2021. And it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not gonna lie, like I walked in my front door and this arrived. This is a bassinet from Four Moms. They're basically, they wanna partner with me and do some photos of uh, me using their bassinet. Um, But this, this partnership like happened prior to him leaving. And I know it's okay because I know like there'll most likely be another baby and we could still do it and all, but it's definitely a smack in the face. Um, I am happy to see that guy. And the kitty cat somewhere around here. But let's recap, you know, this weekend was good. It was really good. It was a good time. I'm happy that I went. I'm happy that I took some time away and just like enjoyed myself. There were definitely moments where it was hard. Um, I do miss him a lot. But I'm trying to keep my mind positive and know that uh, there'll be another baby like more babies need need homes and support and things like that I'm really really frustrated with this woman that she has not called me or text me before we even did the transfer I talked to her on the phone and she said oh yeah you know I'll make sure I send you photos of him and you'll keep you updated and 
I just knew, I knew from the moment I was told about her, I had, I had bad vibes about her. And she's just, I think that someone who does what she's doing, not responding after knowing how much I cared about this boy and saw the tears in my eyes as I handed him over. And just out of the conversations we've had about him and this transfer, knowing that, and then not responding after three days of me trying to reach out to her through text and calls for three days, I think is an evil person. I think you have no regard for people and no empathy and is evil. And it really just pisses me off that he's with her. But I have to let it go, let God take control, know that this boy is on his path, and pray that DCFS continues to take care of him and protect him. And whatever happens, happens. And if he returns to me ever, fantastic. If not, I don't, I, I can only do so much and I fought so hard. So I guess that is the end. I am home. I'm gonna get this bassinet put away and my stuff put away, play with my dog, take him out and all that jazz, so. Hopefully the next video is a beautiful baby that, <laughs> a new baby in my home and we'll see how it all goes. But thanks for watching everyone. Bye.